What is bovine TB? Bovine tuberculosis, also known as bovine TB, is a potentially fatal infectious disease of cattle caused by bacteria called Mycobacterium bovis, or M. bovis. Bovine TB is spread by inhaling or eating the bacteria. This results in abscesses in the lungs and other parts of the body, which in turn produce and spread more bacteria. The way in which the disease develops can vary. It can be hard to find at first because the bacteria is covered in a waxy coat and grows very slowly. Although bovine TB is a disease of cattle, it can also affect other animals. High levels of infection can spread to deer, goats, alpacas, pigs, sheep and even cats, although these animals play little part in spreading the infection to cattle. In the parts of England where there are high levels of bovine TB, badgers are significant carriers of infection. As well as spreading between badgers, the bacteria can spread from badgers to cattle and vice versa. Animal transport can also spread the bacteria over long distances. Human infection is possible, but since routine milk pasteurisation, the number of human cases has dropped from 50,000 per year in the 1930s to around 30 cases per year today. Why do we need to control bovine TB? In 2012, the UK's beef and dairy industries were worth £6 billion. However, bovine TB is threatening the future of farming in England. Over the last three decades, the disease has increased from around 200 to 30,000 cattle cases per year and spread to new areas of the country. Consequently, over the last 10 years, more than 305,000 otherwise healthy cows were slaughtered as a precaution against the spread of infection. The UK now has the highest level of bovine TB in the EU, whilst many other EU countries and Scotland are officially bovine TB free. The disease and the measures applied to control it have significant social and economic impacts, disrupting trade in cattle, meat and milk, and threatening the financial sustainability of the livestock sector. For these reasons, and to protect human health, there are legal controls in place, including those at an EU level. Achieving bovine TB-free status for England will reduce the cost to the taxpayer of controlling the disease, which reached £500 million over the last decade and is estimated to reach more than £1 billion over the next 10 years, plus hundreds of millions more to the farming sector. Leaving bovine TB uncontrolled would increase the risk of spread to other animals and to humans, with impacts on health and welfare, further restricting our ability to trade internationally and bring us in breach of the law. Meanwhile, other countries such as Australia, New Zealand and Ireland have successfully reduced bovine TB by using cattle controls and limiting the amount of infection in wildlife. How do we control bovine TB? We apply a comprehensive set of measures to control bovine TB, including looking for bovine TB by routinely testing healthy cattle and inspecting carcasses at abattoirs, testing herds where there's been an outbreak of bovine TB, restricting cattle movements and slaughtering infected cattle. And we're starting to tackle infection in badgers with licensed culling which has been shown to reduce bovine TB in cattle if applied over large areas. We also have a badger vaccine, though this doesn't protect badgers that are already sick, which can go on to infect other animals. And vaccination must be applied every year, which, with the cost of catching and injecting badgers, can be very expensive. Looking ahead. The government has published a strategy for England to become bovine TB free by 2038, which builds on existing measures and includes the following new elements. Choosing the most suitable combination of control methods to tackle different levels and sources of infection in different areas. Developing better tests, usable vaccines 
and new ways of tackling TB infection in badgers, and reviewing the way in which bovine TB controls are managed, delivered and funded. Bovine TB is a terrible and destructive disease. We can't wait until new control methods become available. That's why the strategy is making use of the tools available now to achieve bovine TB freedom for England.